find the LCM and HCF of 50, 75 and 120. To find the HCF and LCM, first we should do the prime factorization of each number separately. That is C. 50, 75, 120. Okay, next. Now for this number, last digit is 0, so we take 5 here. First number is 5. When do we get 5 in 5 table? 5 ones 5. This 0 carried down. Now here we have 10. 10 is 5 2 is 10. Now 2 is a prime number, so we take 2 ones 2. Now for this number, last digit is 5, so we take 5 here. First number is 7. A number close to 7 in 5 table is 5 ones 5. 7 minus 5 is 2, 2 carried forward making it 25. When do we get 25 in 5 table? 5, 5 is 25. Now here we have 15, 15 is 5, 3 is 15. Now 3 is a prime number, so we take 3 ones 3. Now for this number, last digit is 0, so we take 5 here. First number is 1. 1 smaller than 5, so we should take 2 numbers, that is 12. Now a number close to 12 in 5 table is 5 to 10. 12 minus 10 is 2, 2 carried forward making it 20. When do we get 20 in 5 table? 5 4 is 20. Now here last digit is 4, E1, so we take 2 here. First number is 2, when do we get 2 in 2 table? 2 ones 2. Now 4, when do we get 4 in 2 table? 2 2 is 4. Now here we have 12, 12 is 2 6 12. 6 is 2 3 6. Now 3 is a prime number, so we take 3 ones 3. So now our HCF is... HCF is the product of numbers of those numbers which should be present here and here and also here. So now we should find the numbers that should be present here and here and also here. I repeat, we should find the numbers that should be present in these three places. Okay, let us start. Starting with the number 5. Do we have 5 here? Yes. Next place. Do we have 5 here? Yes. So now you cut 5 right here. Next number is 5. Do we fi have 5 here? Yes. Next place. Do we have 5 here? No. Next number is 2. Do we have 2 here? No. So no need to check in the other place. Here no more numbers are left. Therefore, we have only one number 5 present in all the three places. I repeat. We have only one number 5 present in all the three places. So this, is, this itself is our HCF. Next. Now to get LCM, whatever you got as HCF, to that we should multiply by certain numbers. How do we decide those numbers? C. Here 5 is cut. Now look at this 5. Do we have 5 here? Yes. Do we have 5 here? No. So cut these two 5s right here. C man. For HCF, number should be present in all the three. For LCM, it's not like that. Even if it is present in two places or one place, still we cut and we write here. Clear with the difference? Next. Now, next number is 2. Do we have 2 here? No. Do we have 2 here? Yes. So, you cut 2 right here. Now, here 3. Do we have 3 here? Yes. 
so you cut 3 right here now here 2 is not cut so you cut 2 right here now one more 2 is not cut so you cut and right here now each number has been cut therefore you multiply all these numbers whatever number you get that is your LCM ok so let us multiply that is 5 into 5 25 into 2 50 into 3 150 into 2 300 into 2 600 so this is our LCM and this is our HCF am I clear